to Natalie's Bakery. I know it's been about three years on the dot since my last episode, but I'm back in the Bay Area and this episode features Ian Bikini, Berkeley's own, who's a great guitarist out here, and he's going to help me make some apple pie today. I'm gonna spill all the beans on my special secrets for possibly one of my favorite recipes. So, we're gonna start by making the crust from scratch. So we're going to um, start by putting three cups of flour in this bowl. <laughs> Um, and then we've got a quarter cup of sugar. Just brandish this. And then we have a teaspoon of dry mustard. I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds weird. <laughs> but it, like, the savory part of the pie is what offsets the sweetness of the apple filling. So that's what we're going for. And we have a pinch of salt that I pre pinched. Just a bit. And we're going to combine that together in this bowl. You can see it's incorporated. And then this recipe comes from the new basics cookbook that um, my mom uses all the time. And it recommends using a pastry cutter to get all this fatty shit stuff <laughs> into the crust. But we're gonna go ahead and use a food processor to speed up the process. <laughs> Profanity's allowed, it's okay. So we're gonna put the dry ingredients into the food processor. What's your experience like with pies, Ian? I love eating pies, but I've never made a pie before. <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything. So we have here a whole stick of butter that I've already chopped up into little pieces just because it's really important to get it evenly distributed. And then this is a lovely glop of a third cup of vegetable shortening. So we're going to pulse these dry ingredients for a little bit. I don't have the patience for that. Here, this is where I have to spill the beans. This is my secret ingredient to my pie crust, cheddar cheese. And I know that sounds weird, but it really is that thing that really offsets the sweetness of the apple when it gets all baked up. You've had this pie before. It's very good. It's weird, but it works. And I like to use the white cheese so that I don't scare people with the orange little flecks in my crust. So we're going to transfer the dry stuff into the bowl. I'm a professional. <laughs> okay, so now we have our crust, which kind of resembles kind of a powdery, crumb-like consistency. So now what we do is we're gonna add ice water, and so this will usually call for six to eight tablespoons, but sometimes more. You want to fluff? <laughs> It smells cheesy. <laughs> so this is a pie that I always make every Thanksgiving and most Christmases, even if I'm doing the Bush de Noël, which is from my last holiday episode. But it's just a crowd pleaser. Alright, I might just go in with my hands and see where we're at now. That's cool. Okay, so now we're going to wrap these. We're going to split the, split the dough into to two uneven halves. Two uneven parts, huh? Just use a tiny bit of ice water to bind the final end of the dough. The ice water definitely makes the ball shrink a little bit. <laughs> you gotta watch out because I might use the shit. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap these up and put them in the fridge for about an hour and then we'll work on the filling in the meantime and also preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So while the dough is in the fridge, cooling down, we're going to prepare the apple filling. So we've got eight green smith apples over here. So we're gonna use this thing to, to core the apples and then we're gonna peel them and cut them into slices and then um, go from there. Let's do it. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll, you can do that. So, first off, my favorite part is the butter. We have Four tablespoons melted. We're gonna put that on top. And then we have a half cup plus two tablespoons of granulated sugar. And then this is two tablespoons of cornstarch. I've actually known Ian since I was seven years old. This is true stuff. Bro. Why do we speak English? Yep. We met at Brazil camp, which his mom dragged me to, and my mom dragged me to, and there's like this kids play that we are in. There's some embarrassing photos somewhere. 
Oh yeah, we go way back. Should have brought them out. I know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put like a little <laughs> like photo thing, you know, do something snazzy and post. This is three quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and then we got a teaspoon of lemon zest and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now we basically have our filling ready to go. And so the next part is probably the trickiest part and also the most rewarding of uh, rolling out our pie crust. Yeah, we're gonna roll it out into a circle, hopefully. Let's we'll see how we do. Uh, Might take a couple tries. You wanna you wanna try? Let's do it. Okay. How do I do it? <laughs> Just roll it? Yeah. Why don't I do the first one? Here our pie has just come out of the oven and we're waiting for it to cool down so we can eat a lot of it right now. And it's been great baking and playing music for you guys. Happy holidays from Natalie's Bakery. Thanks Ian for being on the show. Thanks Natalie. Thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays. <laughs>